Okay, so a quick video on adding user-defined fields into a SAP B1 database. So let's go to our SAP database first of all. So we have a SAP database here. We're going to go to Tools, down to Customization Tools, User-defined fields management. And that brings up the uh, User-defined fields management um, window. And in this instance, we're going to add fields into um, stock. So we start with master data go down to items, items again, and you'll see there's a, an existing list of user-defined fields on this database. We're going to stay at the top of the list, we have the option to add. So the first thing we need to do is give the um, field a name, and in my case we are going to call it Magento Attribute. So let's keep the name relatively short, M-A-G-A-T-T. -T. The, um, the title a longer description or longer name. So then, next thing is what type of field is it going to be? Uh, there are various types available. The one we're going with is an alphanumeric, so uh, letters and numbers basically. So how long does the field need to be? Well that's down to how many characters we're likely to require and I have a list of um, options here, so the longest is that one. Let's do a quick look at that. So that's 15 characters in length. It's the longest that we have. It's possibly the longest we're likely to have on that field. But just to keep it safe, we're going to go with um, 18. Just for the time being. Okay. So then, in terms of the structure, it's just regular, and the validation. If you leave this blank, then that just becomes a, a text field. In this instance, however, we want to put in um, valid values, so we're going to click on that. And that gives us a, a new section here, and we are able to type our values into these sections. We just need to add some new fields. Just going to create a handful. Expand on that for a moment. And if I flick back out to my Excel, You'll see that I've already prepared a list. Just going to copy those. And then we go to the first cell here, and we've already we've already selected new, so we already have uh, an open list available, and we just paste our list in there. And that's the new values. You'll notice just that I have on the value side, I have kept these as one continuous string. So you'll see wooden flooring, for example, I've left up an underscore in there. Whereas on the description, I can um, have separate discrete words and spaces between them. I just don't have any spaces in the values. So that's fine. We attempt to um, add that to our system. And we're getting a warning now that all of these users um, are currently logged on to the database. These are actually as much users as computer names, uh, but they're all connected to the database right now. Um, there's two options. Basically, I can either try again, but that's going to just bring up the same list because obviously nobody's disconnected, or I can just ignore. Now, if I ignore, the system will give me some warnings. It's possible to continue, but the effect of this is to disconnect those users from the database, at least momentarily. So um, anyone working in the database while you're attempting to do this will be um, well, basically chucked out of the database and may lose work in the process. So just need to be aware of your colleagues when you're adding these things. Um, I'm doing this uh, quite early in the morning, so I don't expect anyone is working on the system. So if I go down to the end of my list of fields, I should now have a new field called uh, Magento Attribute. I click OK to that. We come in and have a look at our stock uh, item master data. If I just scroll through to a record, no matter what record you choose, just anything. And scroll down the end of my list, you should see I have a new field. If I click on that, I have a drop down list of options available. Now, because I've set this up in this fashion, um, this is just a, a defined list that I have available on that, um, uh, that uh, field. If I wanted to add additional values, I would have to go back to Tools, Customization Tools, User-Defined Field Management, 
go back into the master data, back to items, items again, and this time around we go down to the end of the list and we find that field and we have the option, once we highlight it, we have the option to update and you'll see our existing list and if we wanted to change or amend any of the values here or add new ones uh, we can do that from within here. Obviously we click on the update again and that would then once again refresh the list and have the effect of um, disconnecting users once again etc. So uh, if you're making changes to any of these user-defined fields you need to ensure that people are logged out of the system or at least that they're aware that you're going to do this so that um, you're not going to be disconnecting them um, in the middle of, um, of them entering data.